Hello everyone. Um, in maths this week we have been learning all about place value and separating our tens and ones. So this is just a quick PowerPoint to explain exactly what we have been teaching the children so that if you want to help them at home you can show them this. The first slide is what is the number? So we have tens and ones. So as you can see we have one ten and one one. And so we add these together, one ten plus one one, and the answer is eleven. Then in the next slide we have to count our tens. So we have one ten, two ten, three tens. Three tens is equal to thirty. And then we count our ones, one, two, three. So three tens plus three ones is equal to 33. Then we have our next slide and we count our tens again. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, and five tens. Five tens is equal to 50. Then we count our ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the answer is going to be 50 plus six, which is 56. You can see there it's on the slide. So the next um, slide we have is we've got lots of tens, we have to count these up. So again, we count one ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, six tens, seven tens, eight tens. So eight tens is equal to eighty. And then we count our ones, one, two, three, four. So eighty plus four equals eighty four. The next slide is again lots of tens. So we would show the children all these using deans and we count them up 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Then we would say how many tens is 90 and the children would say that it is 9 tens. Then we count our ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 90 plus 5 is 95. Next, we have been using 100 square a lot in class. And we have been explaining to the children that if you start at 1, each row goes across to 10. And then you can go down in 10s all the way to 100. So, for example, I would the arrow at 26. If I wanted to go down 10, it becomes 36. And if I wanted to add another 10, 46. It is the same if there's a 50. If you want to go back 10, so 10 less, it would be 40. Or if you wanted to say 10 more, it would be 60. Now, we have been using, as I said, the deans quite a lot in class this week. So one of the questions that we have been teaching the children have been using 10s and 1s and putting them into the correct place. So we have been telling the children to count using our tens. So one ten, two ten, three tens, four tens, five tens, six tens. So you put the six here. And one, two, three, four, four ones. So sixty-four equals six tens and four ones. You can write sixty-four here. So then another question was which is less than or greater than? So we have kind of explained to the children that sixty-five is bigger than fifty-six, so we would use this symbol here. 69 is greater than 68, so again, this symbol here. And then 92 is greater than 89, this symbol here. So I hope this has helped with um, showing the children um, our place value. And uh, thank you all very much for watching and listening. Bye.